Here we have an exponential equation. Uh, in the given exponential equation, we have to for, solve for x. That is, uh, we have to find the value of x. Okay, let me write the given exponential equation as it is. That is 3 to the power x square over uh, 9 to the x to the power equals to 81. Okay, here uh, we are trying to solve for the variable that we have at the exponent. In an equation, uh, whenever we are trying to solve for a variable that is at exponent, uh, we should be trying to get the same base on both sides. Once we get the same base on both sides, we can equate the exponents and we can solve for the variable. So here, uh, so the base uh, here 3, the base here 9, the base here 81. All of them are powers of 3. So already we have uh, 3 over here, but 9 can be written as 3 square and 81 can be written as uh, 3 to the fourth power. Okay, let me do it in the next step. So we have 3 to the power x square over this 9 can be written as uh, 3 square uh, whole to the power x equals to this 81 can be written as 3 to the fourth power. Okay, so we have 3 to the power x square over. So here uh, we have base 3 and we have exponent 2 and for the complete stuff we have again exponent x. So whenever we have two exponents like this, we can multiply the two exponents using the power of a power rule in exponents. So when I multiply these two exponents 2 and x, I'm getting 2 times x, that is 2x equals to 3 to the fourth power. Okay, here I can use the cohesion rule of exponents. That is, uh, here I divide two terms with the same base 3. So whenever I divide uh, terms with the same base, what I can do is, I can take the base once and I have to subtract the exponents. That is uh, x square negative uh, 2x. So 3 to the power x square into 2x equals to 3 to the fourth power. So here, uh, two terms are equal with the same base on both sides. So whenever two terms are equal with the same base, uh, what we can do is we can equate the exponents. That is uh, x square and negative 2x uh, equals to 4. Okay, so here we have a quadratic equation. Let's, uh, let's get this quadratic equation in standard form. That is, we have to have uh, x square, x constant term. Everything uh, should be on the left side. On the right side, we must have 0. So, but here we have uh, a yeah, number 4 on the right side. So, to get rid of this 4 on the right side, I have to subtract 4 from both sides. When I do so, this positive 4, negative 4 will cancel out. I'm getting x square, negative 2x, negative 4 equals to 0. I don't think uh, the quadratic equation uh, we have over here can be solved by factoring. Uh, so I think uh, we have to try a uh, quadratic formula. So for that, we have to compare the given quadratic equation uh, with uh, ax square positive bx uh, positive c equals to 0. So when I compare these two quadratic equations, uh, so what value get, uh, do I get for a? So a is equal to actually a is the coefficient of x square. What is the coefficient of x square in our quadratic equation? So we don't find any number in front of coefficient of x uh, in front of x square. So I have to assume there is 1 in front of x square. So that means the coefficient of x square already is 1. So that is a equals to 1. And b equals to, uh, b is the coefficient of x. So in our equation, the coefficient of x is 92. So the value of b is 92. And uh, c is a constant term. In our equation, the uh, negative 4. The constant term is negative 4. c is equal to negative 4. Okay, now let me write the quadratic formula. Uh, already we know that x equals to uh, negative b positive or negative square root of uh, b square negative 4ac over 2a. Okay, so in this quadratic formula, I have to plug in a, a equals to 1, b equals to negative 2, and c is equal to negative 4. Okay, let me do it over here. So we have x equals to uh, this negative value in the formula itself. And for b, I have to plug in negative 2, uh, positive or negative square root of. So for uh, b square, I have to write negative 2, the whole square, negative 4 times the value of a is uh, uh, 1, and uh, the value of c is uh, 4. So we can plug in 1 for a and uh, negative 4 for c over 2a. That means 2 times, uh, again, the value of a is 1. Okay, x equals 2. So this negative times negative will become positive 2, positive or negative square root of. So when I evaluate this negative to the whole square, it will become positive 4. So because uh, this square is applicable for the complete stuff inside the parenthesis. So whenever we take even exponent for a negative sign, it will become positive. And uh, when I take the exponent 2 for this 2, it will become 2 square, 2 times 2 is 4. And here, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And negative 4 times negative 4 will become positive 16 over 2. I mean, 2 times 1 is 2. So we get x equals to 2 times 2, positive or negative square root of 4 positive 16 can be done as, uh, I mean, it can be simplified. 4 positive 16 will, is equal to 20 over 2. So we get x equals to 2 positive or negative. Okay, to simplify this square root of 20, we can resolve this 20 into its prime factors. So 20 can be resolved into... 2 times 2 times 5. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 5 is uh, 20. Okay, so inside the square root, uh, for every two same numbers multiplied inside the square root, one number can be taken out of the square root. So here inside the square root, uh, we have two twos multiplied. So for these two twos, one two can be taken out of the square root. So then I'm getting 2 positive negative. 
So for these two twos, one two come, will come out of the square root. Uh, this phi uh, will remain inside the square root. Uh, so we have uh, two times square root of phi over two. Okay, so here uh, uh, in numerator, so this one and this one, both of them have the greatest common divisor two, so we can factor two out. So if I factor two out, so what do I have left in the first term? So to know what I have left in the first term after uh, two is factored out, so I have to divide this two by the one I factored out. So when I divide this two by two, I'm just getting one. So I have one left in the first term over here. To know what I have left in the second term, the same thing. I have to divide two times square root of five by the one I factored out. So when I divide this one by the one I factored two, two will cancel out. I have square root of five left in the second term over two. So this two, two can be canceled. So I'm getting x equals to uh, one positive or negative square root of five. So or it can also be written as x equals to one positive square root of five or x equals to one negative square root of five. I'm getting two values for x.